Breakthrough Listen takes the search for intelligent life in the universe to a completely new level. It is, first of all, the most comprehensive in scope. Second, it is faster and more sensitive than any previous search. In addition, we'll cover the broadest ever spectrum. In fact, it will be about five times wider. We will be committed to full transparency. Both data and software will be open. We will also establish an open platform for external developers to create new applications for analyzing the data. The, the program will span a decade with a total commitment of uh, $100 million. It's time to commit to finding the answer to search for life beyond Earth. The Breakthrough Initiatives are making that commitment. We are alive, we are intelligent, we must know. And so the field of SETI, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, came into being. I remember the first day of the search, we pointed our telescope at the, actually the second target, which was the star Epsilon Eridni, at one of the nearest of the sun-like stars that might have planets. We didn't know at the time whether it did or not. And as soon as we pointed the telescope, we heard a signal. And I was astonished. We were all astonished because we wondered, can it really be this easy? This is a time when citizen science and social media allow the project to have a real global reach in a way it never could before. With the Breakthrough Initiative, we will target the nearest million stars, the nearest 100 galaxies. We will target the entire plane of our Milky Way galaxy, including the center, with its billions of stars. And we'll be looking for any transmissions at radio waves, and including optical light, laser light. We have fortuitously at our disposal two of the world's largest radio telescopes. We also have the advent of digital signal processing at tens of gigahertz bandwidth. Breakthrough Listen will generate vast amounts of data. All of it, all of it will be open to the public. In fact, more data will be open than ever in the history of science. The private sector has a very important role to play, and NASA headquarters understands that, the White House understands that. It's a huge gamble, of course. No one would count on success, but the payoff would be so colossal in recognizing that uh, there was life elsewhere, that this investment is hugely worthwhile and will attract huge public interest. The experience of making the original Voyager interstellar message was a great way to develop a degree of self-awareness of what it is to be human, of what it is to live on this planet, to be alive. We are inspired by these messages from the past, but now it's time for new messages. Breakthrough Message is a global competition to create digital messages that represent us and our planet. The best messages will be rewarded from a pool of prizes totaling $1 million. But this is not a commitment to send messages. It's a way to learn about constraints and possibilities of interstellar communication and to encourage global discussion on the ethical issues of sending messages into space. What we hope to do in this new initiative is to think together and discover whether or not we as a planet, by engaging the broadest possible public in the adventure of formulating this message, if we can think together, and if we can think together and come to a conclusion about whether or not it's wise to send such a message and what specifically we want to convey about who we are. Mankind has a deep need to explore, to learn, to know. We also happen to be sociable creatures. It is important to us to know if we are alone in the dark. The 
chance of finding life has risen in effect a billion fold when we realize that Earth-like planets are not rare, but that there are literally billions of them just within our own galaxy. But any signal, even if it's hard to decode, but which is manifestly artificial, would tell us that concepts of logic and physics aren't limited to the hardware in human skulls and exist elsewhere and would transform our view of the universe. What does it offer that earlier initiatives have not? Resources. Lots of time on major telescopes around the world. This was once a dream. It is now a truly scientific quest. The 20th century, we stepped out uh, from our planet to space, to the moon, to the solar system. In the 21st century, we'll find out about life at the galactic scale. Professor Hawking, you once said, although I cannot move and I have to speak through a computer, in my mind I'm free, free to explore the universe and ask the big questions such as, do other civilizations exist? Today, with Breakthrough Listen and Breakthrough Message, why joining you on that quest? It is time to open our eyes, our ears, and our minds to the cosmos.